Storm Tracker weather starts now with Jason Laird. Good morning, everybody. Still tracking some lingering flurries over the mountains, primarily down into southwestern Montana here. Very chilly start to the day. You're waking up to 33 in Great Falls, looking at the low 30s with even some 20s in the mix along the high line here this morning. So very, very chilly, a little bit breezy out there. We will still uh, be a little bit breezy today, but again, a lot less wind compared to where we've been. Those isolated flurries down into southwestern Montana will kind of taper off as the day plays out. Little scattered shower chance into northeastern Montana, but for the most part, the core of Montana is going to stay dry today again with those flurries remaining concentrated over the mountains. We'll see daytime highs pretty much on track with yesterday. 48 degrees in Great Falls, 50 in the capital. Looking at a few 40s in the mix there into northeastern Montana. Overnight lows still a real bite in the air. 30 degrees tonight in Great Falls, 31 in the capital. Looking at the low 30s with a couple of high 20s along the high line into northeastern Montana. Tomorrow, the wind is really going to start to crank back up again as our next weather maker moves in. Right now, we're looking at wind gusts at about 30 to 40 miles per hour with that high wind watch. We'll see temperatures, though, first half of the day, much like yesterday, a little bit warmer due to that wind coming off of the mountains, compressing heating up. So we'll uh, see those temperatures peak very early in the day. 58 tomorrow in Great Falls, 59 in the capital. Even a couple of temperatures right up against the front there, uh, kind of trending near about 60 degrees or so. But following that wind and later in the day, we do have a winter storm watch in effect. And the reason for that going into effect, I should say, and the reason behind that is again, we're looking at substantial uh, weather maker moving in. So we'll start to see some clouds building tomorrow morning. Few early in the day scattered showers, not out of the question, most of which will remain over top of the mountains. A little break in the action as the day plays out. More widespread showers are going to move in though later in the day. And then those showers overnight Friday into Saturday morning, you'll notice that little line right there. That's a big batch of colder air that's settling in over the state. And as that batch of colder air settles in, that rain is going to go to a rain snow mix and then snow on Saturday as well. We'll see daytime highs on Saturday dropping below freezing for most locations. So again, those overnight lows are now going to be our daytime highs on Saturday. Future track is kind of backing off a little bit on some of the flurries, except for southwestern Montana. I still think we're going to see more snow than what the future track is actually showing us on Saturday. Lingering off and on flurries are expected, kind of clearing a little bit, though, as the day plays out. Still kind of windy conditions out there as well. And you'll notice on Sunday, there's a big Arctic air mass just settled in over top of the state. More mild the further southwest you go, but very cold temperatures continuing through the weekend. So snow totals, that's the big talking point. I still think these are a little bit high, but forecast models are are starting to kind of come into agreement about five to eight from Lewistown to Gray Falls up to Cutbank. I still again think they're a little bit high just because that ground won't quite have the chance to freeze up. So a lot of that snow when it first falls is going to melt. So we'll kind of play that by ear and keep you up to date. That colder air is going to remain camped out on Sunday into Monday. Few flurries still likely on Sunday. They'll finally start to taper off though as we head into the next work week. Here's how things are going to look over the next seven days. Temperature wise 48 degrees and cloudy today. Again, that rain moves in tomorrow. We'll transition to snow throughout the afternoon and evening. Snow likely Saturday and Sunday. As for the capital here today, 50 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Again, rain Friday uh, pretty much all day uh, off and on and becoming more widespread as the day plays out. And then a wintry mix for the capital through the weekend, Shannon.